This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado and Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at noon. Counting down to the digital era of television. In just about half an hour, the way you watch Channel 7 will change, and you need to be ready. Our team is here to help you keep watching. And the political circus comes to town. Democratic lawmakers leave Albany for a meeting in Manhattan. Good afternoon. I'm Ken Rosado. And I'm Lori Stokes. Welcome to Eyewitness News at noon. If you are one of the two million Americans who haven't gotten ready for the transition to digital television, time is rapidly running out. In just about half an hour, at exactly 1230, WABC-TV will stop broadcasting its analog signal and will only broadcast a digital signal. It's a whole new era for television, but you need to be ready. We have several reports to help you throughout the digital transition. Eyewitness News anchor Bill Ritter will walk you through the rescanning of your converter box and your digital TV. We're going to start, though, with Stacy Sager with more on the transition itself. She's joining us from our control room with more. Stacy. Well, hi, Lori. Most Americans are getting prepared for this switchover, but they don't all understand the significance of it. It has to do with how you get your TV signal from this control room to our transmitter to your home. And the change is historic. His chance of being unemployed is... For more than 80 years, television has brought you the news of big stories and events that change your life. Fast forward through the decades and you can see all the advances technology can bring. Soon, our news and programming will have that much more clarity and color. And according to the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, that transition to digital TV this afternoon is one of the most important changes yet. I think it's one of the biggest deals ever. You know, people compare it with the uh, transition from black and white to color. Television stations will no longer be broadcasting with an analog signal, freeing up those airwaves for more modern applications like wireless broadband and TV services for cell phones. But it's important that you, the viewer, understand what to do. You got to jump through some hoops to get ready for the digital age, which is happening today. And if you haven't jumped through those hoops yet, you're going to lose your picture today. Any TV sets hooked up to cable or satellites are unaffected. Also, if you have a TV made after the year 2000, you should be fine. Although you might need a special indoor antenna if you have no roof antenna. Otherwise, you must buy one of these, a converter box. And you can go online or call the government for a $40 coupon to purchase it. Most importantly, after this noon newscast at 12.30 sharp, when our switchover happens, you must hit the rescan button on your converter box or the rescan function on your digital TV. So it's very important. You can be all 100% set, but a lot of these channels are moving from VHF to UHF or UHF back to VHF. And if you don't let that set have the opportunity to find out where those channels are housed, you won't find them and you won't get a picture. Only yesterday, we found people who've waited till the last minute spending the money for the converter boxes without the coupon just so they don't miss their favorite shows. Hi, what news? The news? Yes. Channel 7 in the Channel 7. Now, there are plenty of people manning the phones all over the country to answer any questions that you might have. Here is the toll-free number if you have a question for the FCC. That's, it should be 1-888-CALL-FCC. The number one eight 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 call FCC. We understand the FCC has at least four thousand operators standing by to troubleshoot any problems you might be having. We're live in the control room. I'm Stacy Sager, Channel Seven, Eyewitness News. All right, Stacy. We want to emphasize once again, as you said, it's one eight eight eight, not one. Well, the other number. It's one eight eight eight. We had a different number on the screen, but listen to what Stacy said. And we must be stressing this to you throughout the newscast. If you have an older TV made before the year two thousand, and you get your signal from an antenna, and you don't have a cable uh, box or satellite, you need a converter box. Now, even if you already have your converter box hooked up, you must wait until at least twelve thirty today. That's just about uh, 27 minutes from now before you rescan your TV. Bill Ritter is here to walk everybody through the entire process. Yeah, don't rescan it now. Don't no. rescan it at 1228. You got to wait till mm -hmm. after 1230. We are already getting phone calls about this because the biggest concern seems to be about how and when to rescan the TV. This assumes, of course, you already have a converter box. And yes, it works now, but at 1230, it will not unless you rescan or reboot. We're not going to go through all the technical things, but it is simple to do. 
as our vice president of engineering, Bill Beam, showed me. You can see it's the first screen is just a welcome screen. Okay. And it just says push next. Okay. It says which language you want, so we'll go with English. Now, TV aspect ratio, you don't have to be a scientist to know what that means, right? Uh, no, it just okay. means if you have a regular TV like this that has this shaped screen, that's called 4x3. And most people that are buying converter boxes, that's what you're going to... Okay, but it says normal. So if it says normal, normal. go ahead and do that. Yeah, right? exactly. And now it's going to start for searching for channels. Right, it's going to go through all the channels from 2 through 51 and find out which one of those channels are broadcasting in digital. How long does this process take? Uh, it usually takes a minute or two, and it also depends how many channels it finds. All right, and if someone has a DVD or a VCR, will, will this converter box work with that? The main difference at the end of the day is going to be that you will no longer be able to record one show and watch another like you may be used to doing with a VCR right now. You can only record what you're watching. Right, because this is the only thing that's tuning in the channels for you. All right, it says finished. And now it says 21 channels found, which is pretty nice. And it's got the guide there. I guess they want to go ahead and hit next. Okay. Next setup is complete. And for people who have not seen digital television before, this will be their first chance to see us in remarkable clarity. No more fuzz, no graininess, no bars across the picture. You'll have a perfect picture every time. It'll look just like you're used to seeing. If you have a DVD player or something like that, it'll look just like that. It's a whole new way of watching television. It really is a whole new way of watching television. If you're watching us on cable or satellite or Fios, or if you have a, a cable TV, a, a digital television already, well, you know how great it is. Uh, this will not affect you. you. You will not notice a thing after 12.30. But, now again, we're not talking about your cable converter box. That is very different. If you have one of those, you're okay. We're talking about your digital signal converter box. If you have one of those, you have to reboot it. It happens in about 24 minutes and two seconds. Um, at that point, we're going to sing old Lang Syne to the old analog channel 7 signal. You won't see color bars. You won't see a message telling you what to do. You will see hash, and it's not the corned beef <laughs> cut. It's very exciting. I feel a little it like is. Dick Clark or Ryan yeah. Seacrest are going to be down there and watch the ball I feel like you just caught up drop. in it. It's yep. a great thing. It's a historic yeah. thing. It really, it really is. is. The old Channel 7 has served us well all it these is. years. But we're, so we're something we're, new on Nothing's going to change. This nope. will all no. be here. You know, we're talking just we're not going, going anywhere. Uh, we hope. Right. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. All right. All right. <laughs> We're going to see Bill in just a few minutes as we continue to count down to the digital transition. Now, remember, the digital transition only affects people getting their signal over the air. That's analog. Cable, satellite, and Fios customers will not be affected. Our transition happens once again at 1230 p.m. today. That is when old channel, analog channel 7's signal gets turned off. Again, as Bill said, you won't see color bars or a message saying what to do. You will see hash, not even snow, nothing. At that exact moment, the digital Channel 7 signal you might already be seeing on a converter box will also drop out. And you must rescan your converter box, trying to get a jump on it. By doing it at 1225, it won't work. You must do it after the transition is made. If you won't be home at 12.30, you can do it when you get home later in the day. Now, if you haven't had any problems with the transition, our phones will be staffed here today and all weekend long. The phone number, 212-456-7000. That's 212-456-7000. You can also find your information on the digital transition at 7online.com. And we have some breaking news in right now. A verdict in the trial of the man who calls himself Clark Rockefeller. A jury in Boston has just found Christian Carl Gerhardtsreiter guilty of kidnapping his seven-year-old daughter.